Hey folks, John Stringer here. This is another edition of the Alignment Call. Now I'm doing this on the road. I'm heading to Virginia, just left Asheville. Powerful, powerful breath work and a concert. Big thanks to everyone involved, Kimberly and uh, uh, Ted hosting in their home and uh, Brian and Andy co-facilitating. Uh, just powerful, a powerful experience. All the people that participated are uh, finding this to be a great avenue and releasing. Also, we just got done with our retreat hosting uh, Brian, Andy, Kathy, myself, um, big Glow New Year's Eve retreat. We had a great time uh, together doing the breath work, doing uh, kirtan, yoga, meditation, mindfulness walks, so many different things. Great food. It's just another beautiful, beautiful experience. I'm really grateful for it. And uh, we also went and saw Michael Singer. And had our own private QA, got a chance to sing a song for them. Just another reminder of listening. I have to say, uh, when Kathy and I read Surrender Experiment, she got the intuitive hit to reach out to Temple of the Universe, Michael Singer, and set up a time for us to go. We went and met them, and then we went back. And went for New Year's one year, three years ago. And then we got the uh, guidance to approach Brian about doing the Big Glow Retreat there. And so now we've had our second one there. We'll probably do a third one coming up. It was so epic. One of the things Michael Singer talked about, three ways of navigating, or three tools of navigating our experiences and what's unfolding we thought was very great. He talked about positive thinking, which the way he uh, explained it is, when we have those that negative programming come up, reach for a quote, positive thought that can neutralize that, if we like. Also, um, the second thing he talked about was uh, having a mantra. Uh, the mantra I use or call codes are alignment, al align, allow, let go, the alignment method. That was what my higher consciousness gave me. I've been practicing and love it. So I can see the value of the positive thinking from experience as well as the mantras. And then he talked about relaxing and breathing so we can release and let go when that resistance arises. Um, and all of those things from experience I know to be very effective, um, combining them and what have you. So I just thought it was beautiful. Um, I feel like gratitude is another uh, way to do that same thing when it comes to positive thinking. I've seen the power of that practice as a way of positive thinking. It can really neutralize a lot of the stuff that can come up and not feel so good. So, anyhow, I want to share that with you. Also, um, Kathy and I are happy to announce we've got a new series coming up called Pillow Talk. Uh, often Kathy and I will have these heart-to-heart -heart talks on the pillow um, and just relating where we're at, what we're going through, challenges, uh, realizations, and even real-time practice on the pillow will put into practice what we need. It's just a beautiful uh, a beautiful a uh, thing we want to share, uh, I think, in relationships um, and as individuals, it can prove helpful. There's times where uh, we both really support and help each other hold space, and there's times where we have challenges we have to work through and navigate um, and find the solutions to. Um, usually it comes down to aligning. <laughs> but anyway, um, another thing I wanted to share in this vlog just the beauty and the power of being present, being alive. Keeps coming back to that and um, how that helps us work through the issues that arise. I had a lot of things pop up 
through our breath work that I was able to release at the retreat. Then, then during the session, that things get triggered and moved around. That night, Brian and I had a beautiful talk about uh, relationships and our practice in general. And then the morning of my meditation session this morning really opened up and my heart opened even more to release more uh, from the tra traumas uh, and conditioning and conclusions and feelings of hurt that were showing up in recent events and tied to old stories of that. And it was really through alignment that allowed for the release in a way where I didn't get stuck in the meaning or the story about those things. But I was able to actually feel grateful for what was arising and the, and the movement of that um, energy. So that stuck energy that showed up as emotion moved. And it was able to, I had to feel it for a while, but I was able to do it from a lying state. Um, Kathy and I talked about it. Notice how the ego, when feeling hurt, will often think of ways to retaliate or look for blame or all this stuff. And I was just observing that as I'm aligning, watching the ego do its thing, or watching that conditioned thinking, those patterns and thoughts come up. And it truly took alignment to be able to expand my awareness and allow the higher knowing to guide my thinking and to view those things and to even appreciate the emotion and the tears and the the release and feel a, a complete shift on it receive a new way of viewing things that didn't have all that block and resistance and victimization so really grateful uh, to continue to see our practice expand our awareness and release uh, attachment to these perspectives that no longer serve also noticed uh, talking with Brian and another friend which was just uh, before I left town was recollecting how uh, there were times where I felt the presence of love and it felt almost outside of me coming in but it was so huge I was afraid of it um, and likening that to other feelings that arise that we're afraid to try to suppress even if for men it's common to do the emotions that way beat them down and feel sorrow or what have you. So all those things being related in that through alignment we can actually uh, breathe, relax, allow those things to come through as we're breathing and relaxing, allow them to be, but not focus on the mental chatter. It, it may still be there, but we can put our attention instead on the breathing and the relaxing. Put our intention, uh, put our attention and focus back on the alignment or the mantra or whatever that assists us in aligning with the source of who we are. That allows us, it's just uh, even on the ride today I had that happen where there were all these thoughts and all this stuff and question, confusion, the feeling of problems starting to rise. I was like, oh yeah, align, 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 allow, allow, let go, let go. Begin to put my focus back on alignment. And I begin to feel the elevation or expansion. Thoughts may still be there, but my focus kept coming back to presence and breath. And that stuff began to kind of fade into the background. And I listened to the knowing, guiding. So the practice of doing this makes it easier and easier. Um, and we begin to expand our ability into doing it through the practice. Just like if we practice an instrument. As, as an example. So, previous versions of uh, the alignment vlog were also um, guided, of course, but today was a new way, so we'll see what unfolds next time. So, all of this to say, I love you all. I invite you to continue practicing, finding ways that assist you with aligning with the source of who you are. So that your awareness can expand and access those higher levels of consciousness to see what's going on when you're confused, when you're sad, when you're struggling, whatever there feels like a problem and all is not well, and when all is well, basically moment to moment. <laughs> so that's it. Um, if 
you'd like to continue following these and getting updates, etc., feel, feel free to join the newsletter, johnstringerinc.com. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll keep you posted on upcoming things. Much love, peace and blessings. Just a lie, just a lie, right?